children today you would be learning something related to ancient india the philosophies of our indian scriptures in form of short snippets do concentrate on the topic as it will help you to understand it better with so much to learn about our country its philosophies ideologies and that to put this all in a span of an hour is too less so let us try to gather as much as we can since times immemorial india has always occupied a place of honor and glory in the committee of nations the rich culture of this great country has been illumined by the great vedas and the purans the gita the ramayana and the mahabharata and rich thoughts that these and thousands of other indian books of yore are studied with some selected snippets episodes and gems of thought representing the ethos and philosophy of this great land are being given here as food for thought prachin kal to hi bharat ne rashtran de paichare de vich sanman ate mahima hasil kiti hai is desh de mahan sabhyachar nu mahan veda ate purana geeta ramayan ate mahabharat ate inna de mahan vichara ate hazara hor bharati kitaba inna sambandhi prakashit hoyiyan han kujh chonve totke ladiwar ate vichara de jawaharat is mahan bhumi de lokchar ate darshnikta di hami parde han ate sade vichara nu ik khurak pradan karde han the author dr d v jindal is senior lecturer pes 1 retired from scd government college ludhiana having been a member of various academic bodies at various levels he is presently a member of the external faculty central institute of english and foreign languages hyderabad a phd in phonetics from punjab university chandigarh he is an author of several books on language and literature in a fight between the demons and the gods once the demons were having an upper hand in desperation and anxiety the gods went to lord vishnu to find out as to how they could vanquish the demons the lord advised them to get a mighty sword a thunderbolt or vajrapat prepared from the bones of some great sage accordingly the gods approached the sage dadiji a great saint dadiji took no time in laying down his life so that his bones could be made into an invincible weapon amog astra asura ate devtyan de darmiyan yuddh de dauran ik var asura da palda pari ho gaya nirasha ate chinta nal pare devta gan bhagwan vishnu de kol e janan layi gaye ki o kis prakar asura nu hara sakde han ਭਗਵਾਨ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਲਾਹ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਕਿਸੇ ਮਹਾਨ ਸੰਤ ਦੀਆਂ ਹੱਡੀਆਂ ਨਾਲ ਪਿਆਰ ਕੀਤੀ ਗਈ ਇੱਕ ਸ਼ਕਤੀਸ਼ਾਲੀ ਤਲਵਾਰ ਯਾਨੀ ਵਜਰਪਾਤ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਕਰਨ ਉਸ ਉਦੇਸ਼ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਦੇਵਤਾਗਨ ਦਦੀਚੀ ਦੇ ਕੋਲ ਪਹੁੰਚੇ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਮਹਾਨ ਸੰਤ ਸੀ ਦਦੀਚੀ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਪ੍ਰਾਣਾਂ ਦਾ ਬਲੀਦਾਨ ਦੇਣ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੋਈ ਦੇਰ ਨਾ ਲਗਾਈ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਉਸ ਦੀ ਹੱਡੀਆਂ ਤੋਂ ਇੱਕ ਅਜਿਤ ਸ਼ਸਤਰ ਯਾਨੀ ਅਮੋਗ ਅਸਤਰਾ ਤਿਆਰ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾ ਸਕੇ ਚਿਲਡਰਨ 
You just now learnt that how a noble sage laid his life for the sake of truth and goodness. This victory of the good over evil is the rarest of the rare examples of great renunciation and sacrifice that this culture teaches. Who can forget the supreme sacrifice of the young sons of Sri Guru Gobind Singh? Now you will learn about the 10th Guru of Sikhs and his sacrifice and you would be shuddered to learn that he sacrificed his own children for the sake of liberty and justice. They choose to be bricked alive for the sake of their faith and the canons of justice and true liberty. Our philosophy and thought teach us to renounce, to sacrifice, to give away in charity, in the real spirit of detachment. Idam na maam, meaning this does not belong to me, is the real spirit behind the yajnas we are called upon to perform frequently in our homes. Should corruption, greed and lust for easy money have any place in a country rich with such noble and lofty traditions? Ona ne swe icha de naal apne taram niya de adarsha ate vastavik azadi de lai khud nu itta vich chinwalya. Saadi darshnikta ate saade vichar sanu tyaak karna balidaan dena vairag di sachi pavna de naal apna sab kuj daan vich de dena. Idam ना माम मतलब ए मेरा नहीं है ही ओ असल पावना है जिड़ी ओना यज्ञा विच शामिल होंदी है जिन्ना नू सानू अपने करा विच वक वक मौक्या ते करन लई किहा जांदा है की प्रश्टाचार लालच अते किसे वी तरीके नाल तान कमाउन दी लालसा दा कोई स्थान अजेहे देश विच होना चाहिदा है जेड़ा अजेहियां श्रेष्ट अते उच्च परंपरावा नाल लैस होवे चिल्ड्रन इट वाज द एफर्ट्स एंड सैक्रिफाइसेस ऑफ ग्रेट पर्सनालिटीज थिंकर्स गुरुस द डेडिकेटेड एंड द पैट्रियोटिक सिटीजंस दैट वी वर एबल टू अटेन आवर फ्रीडम द एल्डर वंस ऑफ दिस कंट्री as per tradition coming down from thousands of years to this day, consider it a divine and blessed duty to feed the birds flying in the sky, the animals moving about on this earth and the insects living in small holes inside the earth. Is desh de bazurg vyakti हजारा साला तो चली आ रही परंपरा दे अनुसार इसनु अपना देवी अते पवित्र कम मन दे हन कि ओ आकाश विच उड़दे हुए पंछियां इस धरती ते विचरण वाले पशुआ अते धरती दे अंदर अपनिया छोटिया छोटिया खुड्डा दे विच रहण वाले कीड़े मकौड़ियां दे ले खान नु देन दिस नोबल ट्रेडिशन इज एन ऑक्युलर प्रूफ of the fact that the people of this country believe in the unity of life anywhere and everywhere. Vasudev Kutumbkam The entire universe is one family is the basic thought that works here and in the various such ceremonies like the tradition of Langar in the holy temples and gurudwaras and the message of the holy gurus contained in the directive eat only after you have shared your meal with others vand chakko e uttam parampara is tat da pratakh praman hai ki is desh de log kise vi jagah 
ਅਤੇ ਹਰ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਜੀਵਨ ਦੀ ਏਕਤਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਵਿਸ਼ਵਾਸ ਰੱਖਦੇ ਹਨ ਵਸੂਦੇਵ ਕੁਟੁੰਬਕਮ ਮਤਲਬ ਪੂਰਾ ਸੰਸਾਰ ਇੱਕ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਮੂਲ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਇੱਥੇ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਅਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਵੱਖ-ਵੱਖ ਮੌਕਿਆਂ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਕਿ ਪਵਿੱਤਰ ਮੰਦਿਰਾਂ ਅਤੇ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਲੰਗਰ ਦੀ ਪਰੰਪਰਾ ਅਤੇ ਮਹਾਨ ਗੁਰੂਆਂ ਦੇ ਉਸ ਸੰਦੇਸ਼ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੋ ਇਸ ਨਿਰਦੇਸ਼ ਵਿੱਚ ਸ਼ਾਮਲ ਹਨ ਕਿ ਭੋਜਨ ਉਦੋਂ ਕਰੋ ਜਦੋਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਣਾ ਭੋਜਨ ਹੋਰਨਾ ਵਿਅਕਤੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਸਾਂਝਾ ਕਰ ਲਵੋ ਵੰਡ ਛਕੋ children this idea of distribution applies not to food only it extends well up to the entire resources and funds that are available to man do we still need to be taught to love the entire mankind as our kith and kin and our respect the sanctity of life through total non violence ਵੰਡਨ ਦਾ ਇਹ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਸਿਰਫ ਭੋਜਨ ਤੇ ਹੀ ਲਾਗੂ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਇਹ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਸਰੋਤਾ ਅਤੇ ਫੰਡਾਂ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਲਾਗੂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਮਨੁੱਖ ਨੂੰ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਹਨ ਕਿ ਹੁਣ ਵੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਸਿਖਾਏ ਜਾਣ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਸੰਪੂਰਨ ਮਾਨਵਤਾ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਣਾ ਸੰਬੰਧੀ ਸਮਝੀਏ ਅਤੇ ਸੰਪੂਰਨ ਅਹਿੰਸਾ ਦੇ ਮਾਧਿਅਮ ਨਾਲ ਜੀਵਨ ਦੀ ਪਵਿੱਤਰਤਾ ਦਾ ਸਨਮਾਨ ਕਰੀਏ let us read another snippet or you can say a gist of mythological tale which is equally knowledgeable and enlightening once the story goes king janak of mithila present bihar called a meeting of the scholars to discuss some ticklish issue based on high philosophic thought a well known sage named ashtavakra so called because of his deformed body was also invited to this meeting as ashtavakra entered the portals of the palace hall and walked up the passage <laughs> some scholars already present in burst into a derisive laughter how could such a deformed and mishappen person discuss high philosophy they felt ashtavakra pondered ajehi kahani hai ki ik var mithila aj da bihar de raja janak ne kise jatil samasya de hal layi jo uch darshanik vicharan te adharit si te vichar vatandra karan de layi एक सभा बुलाई अष्टवक्र ना दे एक प्रसिद्ध ऋषि नु भी उस सभा विच आउन दा सद्दा दिता गया उस दा ना उस दे शरीर दे अंगा दे विगड़न कारण पै गया सी जिवे ही अष्टवक्र ने महल दे सभा भवन विच दाखला लिया अते गलियारियां विच चल के आउन लगा ਉਥੇ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਹੀ ਮੌਜੂਦ ਕੁਝ ਵਿਦਵਾਨ ਮਜ਼ਾਕ ਨਾਲ ਹੱਸਣ ਲੱਗੇ ਅਜਿਹਾ ਟੀੜੇ ਮੇੜੇ ਅੰਗਾਂ ਵਾਲਾ ਕਰੂਰ ਵਿਅਕਤੀ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਕੁਝ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਵਿਸ਼ੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਚਰਚਾ ਕਰ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਸੋਚਿਆ ਇਸ ਤੇ ਅਸ਼ਟ ਵਕਰ ਗਰਜਦੀ ਹੋਈ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੋਲਿਆ ਓ ਕਿੰਗ ਆਈ ਫੀਲ ਅਸ਼ੇਮਡ ਆਫ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਇਨਵਾਈਟਿਡ ਟੂ ਥਿਸ ਅਸੈਂਬਲੀ ਆਫ ਸਕਿਨਰਸ acharamkar it is only a skinner who measures intelligence or status of a person from his skin or physical looks or the color and shape of his skin or body children do you know what happened everyone felt ashamed and asked for pardon this put the entire assembly to shame and brought them to their knees to beg pardon of this great saint color of the skin or shape of the body has never been a measure of intelligence 
or status in this country. Is te puri sabha lajjat ho gai. Ate o us mahan rishi to muafi mangan de lai aapne godiyan de paar baith gai. Chamdi da rang, sharir di deel dol, is desh vich kade vi buddhi maan ate unche aude de maap dand nahi rahe han. Children, you must have gathered that our country was the country of great sages, gurus and philosophers and we are still following their ideologies and philosophies from time immemorial. Lord Ram's eating of the tasted berries from a Bheel woman, a Shudra woman who used to sprinkle water on the earth with the help of the leather bag is a sufficient proof of the fact that there was never any discrimination on the basis of caste, creed or profession of a person in ancient India. Pagwan Ram Dwara ik peelani ik shudar aurat jedi ki chamde di mashk de naal zameen te paani chidkya kar di si. De juthe bera nu khana is tath da tukwa praman hai ki prachin parat vich jat, taram ja kam de adar te kade vi kise vyakti naal koi ped paav nahi kita janda si. Children, one hair is also reminded of what their enlightened sage Swami Vivekanand said to a lady in America who laughed at his simple dress. Ithe us galdi vi yaad a jandi hai jo us buddhiman sant Swami Vivekanand ne America di us aurat nu kahi si jisne us de bohat hi saade vastra da mazaak udaya si. Madam, tuhaade desh vich ik vyakti nu darji binaunda hai. Mere desh vich kisi vyakti de andruni gun ate us da charitra hunde han, jede us nu mahaan binaunde han. Ki e murakta nahi hoegi ki pratak ja apratak roop naal अजहे महत्वहीन आधारां ते इस तरह दे पेद पाव वाली किसे चर्चा दे अजकल गलबात कीती जाए? Isn't it unwise to support tactfully or otherwise any talk of such discrimination on such frivolous basis today? Just listen to his original words. Madam, in your country, it is the tailor. Who makes a man. In my country, it is the intrinsic worth and character of a person that makes him or her great. The history of this great land is full of examples where no auspicious function was considered to be held properly without the participation of women. So much so that if no woman could somehow make it to the function, a statue of the woman was created to mark her auspicious presence. She was always considered a Devi, Goddess, a Kanjak, a young unmarried girl child fit to be worshipped, the mother of mankind the ardhangini, the inseparable but equal wheel of the rath, chariot of life. Mahan desh ta itihaas, ajehiyan udharna de naal parya pya hai, jithe aurta walo hissa lay bina, koi vi shubh kam uchit roop naal sampooran nahi samjaya janda. Etho tak ki, je koi aurat, किसे कारण उस प्रोग्राम विच शामल नहीं हो पाउंदी ता उस दी शुभ हाजरी दे प्रतीक दे रूप विच उस औरत दी मूर्ति बनाई जांदी सी उस नु सदा एक देवी 
ਇੱਕ ਕੰਜਕ ਇੱਕ ਛੋਟੀ ਉਮਰ ਦੀ ਅਨਵਿਆਹੀ ਕੁੜੀ ਜਿਸ ਦੀ ਪੂਜਾ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਾਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਮਨੁੱਖਤਾ ਦੀ ਮਾਂ ਅਰਦੰਗਨੀ ਯਾਨੀ ਅਨਿਖੜ ਜੀਵਨ ਰਥ ਦਾ ਅਪਿੰਨ ਪਰ ਬਰਾਬਰੀ ਵਾਲਾ ਪਈਆ ਮੰਨਿਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਸੀ children you have read that women were given a special place in all the religious rites and rituals no function no puja was performed without the presence of a woman she was worshiped as a deity as the mother earth etc for every auspicious occasion her presence was and is necessary here is an example which would glorify the image of a woman this fitly explains chhatrapati shivaji's bowing his head before a woman and respectfully restoring her dignity as a mother when some misguided soldiers of his victorious army presented her to shivaji as a gift this too explains that the great wars in both the sacred epics the ramayana and the mahabharata were fought for defending and upholding the honor of this matri shakti the powerful motherhood chhatrapati shivaji dwara ik aurat de agge ਸਿਰ ਚੁਕਾਉਣ ਅਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਮਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਾਂਗ ਉਸ ਦੀ ਪ੍ਰਤਿਸ਼ਠਾ ਨੂੰ ਸਹੀ ਮਾਇਨਿਆਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਥਾਪਿਤ ਕਰਨ ਦੇ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਇਹੀ ਭਾਵਨਾ ਕੰਮ ਕਰ ਰਹੀ ਸੀ ਜਦੋਂ ਉਸ ਦੀ ਵਿਜੈਈ ਸੈਨਾ ਕੁਝ ਪਟਕੇ ਪ੍ਰਸ਼ਟ ਸੈਨਿਕਾ ਨੇ ਉਸ ਔਰਤ ਨੂੰ ਸ਼ਿਵਾਜੀ ਦੇ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਇੱਕ ਉਪਹਾਰ ਦੇ ਰੂਪ ਵਿੱਚ ਪੇਸ਼ ਕੀਤਾ ਇਹ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਦੱਸਦਾ ਹੈ कि दोनों पवित्र महाकावा रामायण अते महाभारत विच महायुद्ध इसे मातर शक्ति दे सम्मान दी रखिया दे लई अते उस नु बनाए रखन दे लई लड़े गए सन चिल्ड्रन डस दिस नॉट पुट दोस टू शेम हु थिंक ऑफ रिजॉर्टिंग टू फीमेल फीटिसाइड और डिनाइंग द फीमेल सेक्स their rightful place in the affairs of the world ki e gal unna lokan nu lajja nal nahi var dindi jo kanya prun hatya di gal sochde han ate vishv de mamlya vich auratan nu unna da ban da sthan nahi dinde han children before i bid you goodbye i would like to have a quick round of question answer session so as to make you have a grip and knowledge over the topic the first question is what caused desperation to the gods answer once there was a fight between demons and gods the demons seem to have an edge over the gods therefore it caused the desperation next question who did the gods go to in desperation answer the gods went to lord vishnu in desperation my next question is What did Lord Vishnu advise the gods? Answer. The Lord advised them to get a mighty sword prepared from the bones of some great sage. Next question. What was the sacrifice of Saint Dadichi? answer the dichi sacrificed his life 
so that his bones could be made into an invincible weapon for the gods. The next question is, What is the real spirit behind yajnas performed in our homes? Answer. The spirit behind performing yajnas is charity, sacrifice, renunciation and detachment. The next question is, What does the tradition of feeding birds and animals prove? Answer. The noble tradition is a visible proof that the people of our country believe in the unity of life anywhere and everywhere. The next question is, Why did some scholars laugh at Ashtavakra? Answer. Ashtavakra had a deformed body. He looked very ugly. Therefore, some scholars laughed at him. Next question. How did Ashtavakra react when the scholars laughed at him? Answer. Ashtavakra became very angry and called them skinners as they believed in the beauty of skin, not of the soul. The next question is, What did Vivekanand say to the lady who laughed at his simple dress? Answer. Vivekanand replied that in her country, the tailor made the man, but in his country, the real worth of a man lies in his character. The next question is, what was the status of women in ancient India? Answer. In ancient India, women enjoyed a high status. No auspicious function was complete without their participation. The next question is, Why did Shivaji bow his head before the woman who was brought to him as a gift? Answer. Shivaji had a great regard for women. He considered every woman his mother, so he bowed his head before her. The next question is, Why, according to you, were the wars fought in Ramayan and Mahabharat sacred? Answer. These wars were fought to uphold the honor of the motherhood. That is why they were considered sacred. The topic for today was interesting and educational and has fully justified its name. Some glimpses of ancient Indian thought and practices. That is what you learned through this module. See you next time. Till then, goodbye.